Well, what do you think? Caval, are you interested? This is kind of, this is very different. This is very different. This knife is a front flipper. It's small. It's really tactical looking. It's designed by Tigwas. T-I-G-U-A-S. Hold on. And this is, I mean, this Caval knife, this is a Kamasu, this one here. Interesting, though. Interesting knives that they're doing on their site. Yeah, I'll give you the link, right? But this is the Bucardo. That one really strikes a chord with me as well. But this one is the Shimu. And these are all designed by Tigwas. He was doing stuff for CMB. You remember that? Or maybe you don't. But CMB knives. Uh, so these, this is a, a different outreach. And I haven't messaged him. I've usually, I've had conversations with him over uh, Instagram direct messaging in the past and haven't really been in touch with him much recently. But I've seen that he's really doing a lot of these designs here for Caval knives, right? And also here's the Danka. They come in shipping containers, in, in uh, <laughs> ocean-going shipping containers. That's what they look like. I'll show you the box here in a little bit. But he's a Japanese designer. He's into martial arts. And you can tell it by looking at his knives. You can tell it by looking at all his knives. They're very much into like martial arts, tactical use, that kind of thing. And you don't need a lot of blade. To make a lot of difference if you're a martial artist okay and so this one this one doesn't even have a pocket clip like i said but it's small i mean it's just nothing right it's nearly a keychain knife but i mean you got blade here like two and a half inches worth you got timascus here you got timascus here it this is insane too so this was very interesting to me this as well was very interesting to me and it's this is a bit bigger knife and it's finger flickable okay m390 titanium contoured titanium and look at this kind of machine rubbed or not hand rub but you know what i'm saying kind of that straight machine look of that texture or maybe it's called something else you can jump in feel free um, and then kind of, a, I guess, a bead blast looking grind area here. Um, you got his logo here. And then they did this on the blade, which I think they should have put like Shimu here, M390, like just along here. And then I don't think we needed date of manufacture on the blade at all. We didn't need this all lined up in this cutaway area, you know, personally. And, there, I, you know, if I was Caval manufacturing knives, then I would think about the fact that there's people that don't like billboarding on blades. So there was no need to do that um, in that way. And that may, you know, I, I would always try and defer to, you know, the least intrusive uh, me, it's not that really that big a deal. I'm not a big, I'm not very sensitive to billboarding. So it's not really meaningful to me one way or the other. But other people may make something of that. Um, I mean, the hardware looks fine. Fit and finish looks good. They, We will take this apart, but they have weight relieved it here on the presentation side. And done a little bit here. On the lock bar side you know what and it's not all you know overly thin or anything here it's just smaller you know it's not a big huge knife but it's not but it's not skinny um, it's what 2.6 inch blade there and closer to two and three quarter or maybe 2.8 down here and then overall, I think it's just six point, yeah, six and a quarter at uh, close to 16, uh, 
centimeters, okay? So, uh, pushing three inches down here, but not quite there. 2.6 up here, all right? And really, as far as cutting, I mean, I... I mean, it's sharp, but it's really more for this, isn't it? Because it's really kind of stabby, and you don't have a big, long cutting area. I mean, it's divided up here between this area and this area. So you can cut like this area, okay? Or you can try and cut using this area, but it's not... You know, this is not Sliceyville. This is more very tactical. So there's that. I mean, it just depends on where, where your interests lie. You've got this big, kind of almost looks, like a, almost looks like a gun hammer on the back, doesn't it? In a way, something, right? And, oh, don't want to get my fingers over where that's got to come up, right? Um, flip it open. It's easy to front flip because you got so much jimping here, and this is so obvious, right? So it's easy to front flip. It has a pretty decent drop, and that may get even better once we put it back together from disassembly. But no, it's not difficult to front flip, and you can, I like to finger flick them a lot, and you can do that too, or you could thumb roll this out if you want as well. Just don't push on this lock bar you're going to defeat what you're trying to do with your thumb but that's why i like to finger flick from the back as well so if you like front flipper or you know you would like to try a front flipper this is uh this is pretty easy to do so this is pretty intuitive lots of jumping up here you can get up on here you can't really work your way forward too far here and it's a three finger knife Maybe just, yeah, you can back yourself up with the fourth. So you can get pretty good purchase on this. And I think in the paperwork, they were talking something about the fact that you can go without this pocket clip. So we're going to disassemble. We're going to figure out what are they talking about when they're saying you can do without the pocket clip. So they've made it to where it attaches. This can be taken away without missing a screw or having to, whatever, you know, and, and keeping it from, you know, not being completely put together, that you can take this out and that's fine. The knife is still assembled, you know, etc. cetera. Um, so we will look at that as well. But, and how much does it weigh? And we'll find out here in a minute. It's under three ounces, 2.95, 83.7 grams. So, yeah, it's pretty lightweight. But it still feels kind of chunky in the hand. It's, it's, I mean, it's not a frail little knife, okay? It's not a, like, I would consider a ultimate gent carry. 12.4. So, it's a half inch. Um, let me see the blade stock. Yeah, it's 0.14. I mean, it's three and a half millimeter blade stock. You would think a knife like this would be like two and a half, no more than three millimeter blade stock. But see, this is more going to be for real kind of tough tactical use, right? Penetrating uh, type moves here. So, yeah, I can see that the... the Tiguas, in his martial arts approach, was making this more as a tactical piece, if anything. And so you won't have a problem getting this into some tough material because you got thickness and you've got you got pretty good grip on here that you can get on this as well. Uh, so this kind of a stubby, tough guy, you know what I'm saying? And it comes in a tough guy kind of container look at this there's all the information here super heavy 18 wheeler backed up mm, mm, mm. okay here's the information on the knife all righty then m390 blade there's a spacer there's bearings this is all your 
exploded explosion diagram. What? An explosion diagram? Okay, so when you take this out of here, okay, so there's your workshop. You can put your drill press on that side, your workbench. Okay, now you got a now you got a back building for your backyard, whatever. Okay, comes in this. What is this? Uh, you push this button, just stand back. Okay, now let's try and figure out what we're gonna do underneath. This is insane, isn't it? Okay, and we have all kinds of stuff in here. Well, first of all, don't be a pill. Uh, I guess that's just to keep the humidity uh, down. Okay, Dis disinfectant. Okay. You have a microfiber cloth. You have, right here, you have the, the knife again in sticker form. You got Tigwas logo in sticker form you have paperwork right here more than 20 years of experience years of planning and all kinds of craziness right this is uh, okay so you can figure that out and what's on the back see there's their stuff there you go Oh, they did this one. Tigwas did this one. I knew this one looked different, okay? Designed by question mark? Designed by question mark? What? Okay. I, mean, I think that's Tigwas, 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 and Tigwas. And this is Cabal, okay. Now, what else we got? Oh, my God. What the hell is this? Uh, something. Okay. Let's figure out what it... Oh, wow. Holy cannolis. Look at this. Jeez, Marie. I think they give you a whole nother knife in parts. Look at this. Okay. And? And another pivot. Do you see all this stuff? I mean, okay, wow. Wowie, wowie. Okay, now, what else we got going on? Um, what else is down here? Oh, this is an air freshener. Tea Diamond. Air freshener? And, hey, does anybody got a knife? No. Oh. There, I knew this knife was <laughs> tactical in that kind of stabby kind of way, right? And here it is. Ooh, I can smell that, too. Come here. Help me out again, buddy. Now I'll go right through the cord I shouldn't have gone through or something, right? Ah, I, I see that cord in here. Okay. Ooh, yeah. The best is yet to come. EDC. Wow. Yeah, it does smell good. That, that's interesting choice. Okay. So we've got, now we got the other half of your workshop figured out here. So we got a lot of stuff in here with that and the paperwork and all the extra hardware. There's almost no room to put the knife back, is there? All right. I told you, it's crazy in there. Okay, let's bust this up because... Let's see what we got going in here. I'm kind of curious about this. Some of the parts I see that they gave us and how that may relate to that pocket clip situation where you could actually just remove the clip. So I'm way curious about that. Okay, so are we letting go? Okay. There, see, we saw these. We have these, this hardware here, in here. Okay, and this as well. So come on out. Okay, there's the other one. See, we had both of those. Those are the same size. Okay, there's your backspacer. So I'm not really, oh, and, and they gave us that little piece in there too, didn't they? Okay, hold on. Let me check something real quick. There's something in here. Well, that's steel, isn't it? Okay, that right there is 
magnetic, but it's so freaking lightweight. That's wild. Okay, let's get this. Well, let's put these down here. Okay. I want to see. Hold on. I want to see. Okay, there's where the. Okay. I want to get into this. And I got to get number six to get into this. So let's see what's going on here. What do they mean by. Oh, oh. I think I'm starting to figure this out. Have you? They gave us a plate we can put in here, right? Over in this box. And where is the plate? Okay. It's here, isn't it? This is it. What's on the other side? Aha. Okay, 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 okay. I get you, I get you. So you can do that. You can just swap this out, which just goes right there, right? It goes in right there, and then you put the screw in from behind, and you cover this area so you make it without a clip. Wow, okay, okay. I got it, I got it, I understand now. Okay, this is the lock bar side, and hardened steel insert. Um, let me look at this. So your over travel is as... Oh, okay, right here where that goes up and hits that. Okay, so we're good. And then we got, obviously, a steel. Uh, where did I throw my magnet down? Yeah, steel washer. Okay, I was wondering where my magnet took off to, and I just laid it down, didn't I? Okay, there's that, there's that. Here's your ceramic bearings. Okay, I'm starting to figure this out. Okay. Not that difficult. Okay. Cabal. And then this uh, says, Happy New Year's. I'm just kidding. I don't know what the hell it says. <laughs> and somebody will, though. Somebody will say some shit. Okay, hold on. Let me look at this. I want to see this. I want to see this. Okay. So am I captured? I'm not captured here. Am I captured back here somehow? No. So it's not a captured pivot yet. I didn't have any problems tagging this out of here. So I don't know. Um, but that would have been maybe an idea. Whether you had a little notch built under the cap that met up here. Or you had a little squared off place that captured here or on the other side. I don't know, but um, whatever. That's your disassembly. And what do we got? Yeah, we got it working now, yeah. So that's interesting. First of all, you get a whole parts wagon with this baby. That's amazing. And then you can go ahead and put a plug in there and uh, make it look seamless without a pocket clip. Front flipper, crazy tactical. It's Cabal, it's a Shimu. And it's a Tigwas design. You guys, you know what we do. We love them knives, so you stay sharp.